Hey, what's up, y'all? Let's go, let's go. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? How is everyone? I'm trying to make sure I got everything in front of me because we got the gossip. Mm -hmm. oh, y'all, I feel a little energized, let me tell you, because um, <laughs> I went and got another B12 shot. I really needed it. Um, Ashley, yes, I did eat something. I had to remember. I did. Mm -hmm. So yay me. But yeah, I had to eat another B12 shot. Charlie, oh, they got your girl good. Them things hurt so bad. I mean, they hurt like they burn. They don't burn like the um iron shots. I've had to get iron shots in the past because I do have low iron. Like I'm anemic, like severely anemic, so severely, severely. But um, I haven't had to get one of those in a while, but I did have to get that B12 today. And um, yeah, it kind of hurt. It kind of hurt. But yeah, let me talk to y'all, child. Stuff going on. I wanted to come back yesterday, but then I didn't want to come back yesterday um to talk about what was happening i kind of did but i kind of didn't you know i kind of did but i kind of didn't yesterday was wednesday right yesterday was wednesday yeah yesterday was wednesday mm -hmm. so i i waited i'm glad i did because y'all the teasers are out for the rhop season eight reunion pure comedy comedy freaking gold so with that being said you know we got to address it. you know we can't just let it go like that with them saying the kind of stuff that they saying oh my gosh so we got to dig into that there are three teasers on the loose and i am officially teased i i have i have officially been teased i don't even know what manner of people these are at this point okay we got to talk about what happened with wendy wendy um was a victim of a drive-by Karening from Teddy Mellencamp and Tamara Judge on their sad little podcast. So we got to talk about that. And I personally want to discuss with y'all if y'all think that it's just really weird that these people think they can attack a black lady and we're not supposed to say anything as black women. Like, it's just, I don't know. But we're going to talk about all that, the public sentiment, some of the ugly things we might have been hearing people say. We're going to discuss that. Um, and a couple of other little things, just a couple of other little incidentals, a couple of incidentals. Okay, so let me greet who's here and let's get into it. So first of all, y'all hit the like button. Put your like number in the chat, please. And remember, if I ask you for your like number, you got a whole 60 seconds to give it to me and you might win a little stuff, might shake and bake. So make sure if I ask you for your like number that you can give it to me, okay? And if two people hit the button at the same time and y'all both get the same number, Whoever, the person who's going to win is the person who answers me first. Okay? So make sure now you got to be in it to win it. Just like the Powerball and the Mega Billions, you got to be in it to win it. So make sure that you hit your like button. Make sure you put your like number in the chat. And, you know, pay attention because you don't know when I'm going to say it. It could be any time. I could be in the middle of gossip. And y'all know I'll just stop and say who's like number 45. Who got it? Okay? So always be listening. Please hit your like button. Please put your like number in the chat. Also, do not forget your notification, your um, engagement button. On the bottom right-hand side, it's the circle with the emojis. Make sure that you hit that bad boy and send those bubbles up. Let the people know you in here. Share this video, please, because you know they probably going to shadow ban me. I believe they already have after um, me showing y'all what happened on that boat. Y'all know they was mad at me by talking about that boat. Baby, they hit your girl in the pocket back that boat, but I didn't care because sometimes things have to be said. It's like we ain't allowed to talk about nothing. Everything is be quiet. They only want us to talk about Diddy, and I don't care about no darn Diddy. I want to talk about the stuff that's going to have us paying $22 for a dozen of eggs. Mm -hmm. That's what I want to talk about. But anyway, so y'all hit the like button. Come on in. Please share this video. Like this video. Miriam St. Floor is number one. Hey, gorgeous. How are you? The beautiful Bianca Edwards is in the chat. Okay. And she reminded y'all to hit that like button. She say, please hit it on the way in. Take your shoes off. Relax your feet. We about to have a good time. Yes. If you got them, pour them if you got them. Pour them and sip them if you got them, honey. Pour them and sip them. Okay. All right, all right. 
Who else we got up in here? Carrie Amuneke. Hey, sis, how are you? Thank you for being like number two. All right. Trying to make sure we got everybody in here. Let's get it. Let's go. Y'all know y'all don't ever know when I'm coming. You never know. You just don't. Miss Sparkle is here, y'all. Our resident Mary Kay lady, I appreciate you. Leah Aries is in the house. Hey, boo, how are you? Vita Worship is here from Denver. I did eat something today. I did. I'm really proud of myself. And I got my water. Mm-hmm. So I'm doing better. Thank you, Vita. Vita be on top of it, honey. Thank you for being like number seven. Leah, thank you so much for being like number eight. Y'all come on in, get comfortable, share this video, like this video, thumbs up, thumbs up. DV, thank you for being like number 12. Yolanda is like number 14. Okay, random act of kindness, you filled up a young mother's car. Yes! Oh, guess what I did for my random act of kindness? Y'all might laugh at me, but it was important. There was a bum outside of a store, and he asked me for some cigarettes, and I bought him a pack of Cools, the Cool Longs in a box. Okay, so I bought I bought a bum a pack of cigarettes. You know what I'm saying? And that was important to him because he got an addiction. I know that's not the nicest thing for us to, for people to be doing, which is smoking. But he really wanted them, and he was honest, y'all. He didn't lie. So I bought him the cigarettes. I did. Mm hmm. Because I wanted him to stop begging people for money. And then I was like, I still got to do my random act of kindness. So I went ahead and bought him the cigarettes. Mm hmm. Yolanda Franklin, thank you for being like number fourteen. All right, all right. Clyde, Cud and Clyde in the house. What's up, Clyde? Happy Thursday. Debbie Garcia is here. So Housewives Talk is legal and she's sweet 16. Thank you so much. All right, Ashley, she listening at work and she is like number 17. All right, all right. Okay, my sister, my other sister, Renee just reminded, she, she not reminded me, she teaching me. She say them called cool 100s. Okay, see, that that's how y'all know I don't smoke cigarettes. I ain't never smoked them. I ain't even know what I was buying. But he said he needed the long ones, and I told a young man to sell me a pack of cool longs in a box. That's all I knew to say. Thank you, Renee, because I don't know no better. I be up here sounding country and ignorant because I really don't know any better. I don't. Ain't that sad? Old as I am. I don't even know how to ask for cigarettes. You have to tell me what to tell the people because I mess it up. That's right. Do not forget your random acts of kindness. Katrina, Katrina. Hey, girl. How you doing? Happy Thursday. Christian Key is here like number 19. Number 19. God's anointed daughter is in the house. Thank you for being here, sis. Thank you for being like number 20. All right. Y'all come on in. Child, some stuff done went on. Is this my couture bay? Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Happy Thursday. I'm so glad you're here. Okay. You number 25? I like it. I like it. But yeah, child, that's how y'all know um, TT ain't never smoked no cigarettes. I tried it twice. I tried it twice. First time I tried it, I had a coughing fit and literally was about to pee on myself because I couldn't quit coughing. So I realized that that wasn't the idea. And then one other time I got really, really, really angry. And somebody told me if I smoked them, I would cool off. I didn't cough that time. I think I was too mad and my throat didn't feel it. But it did not make me calm down. So I don't know what they're for. But I, I do know some people really enjoy them. Delicia Dismute, thank you for being number 36. Miss Thelma is here. All right. Tutu for your info. Hey, girl, thank you for being number 26. Miss Thelma is 27. All right, Rochelle. Hey, sis, thank you for being 26. All right. You've been on Reddit going back and forth with them vultures. Yeah, see, I'm not going to do that. My nerves bad, y'all. Catherine Bennett is here. She's like number 30, and so is happy to be happy. Thanks, ladies. Tiffany J, hello, lovely. Thank you for being 31. I appreciate you. Christian Key is telling y'all, hit that like button, please, and thank you. And the beautiful Bianca Edwards is reminding y'all to hit your engagement button. There should be bubbles going up all the time in here. Okay? Run it up, run it up. Freedom 511, hello. Thank you for being like number 34. 
Is this your first time here? Are you new? If so, and this is for everybody, if this is your first time on my live on the porch where we gossip, and sometimes we get into some real stuff that gets me into real trouble, but I can't help it. Okay, I'm an agitator. Okay, but if this is your first time, please let us know um, by letting us know it's your first time live or putting FTL for first time live. Okay. And then we can welcome you appropriately. All right. Yeah, they cannot stand up. A beautiful, accomplished, confident, educated, happily married queen like Wendy. Oh, no. You know, they feel like if you're a black woman, you, you need to be a single mother and miserable and picking at other people's marriages and talking about being promiscuous and all sorts of vulgar activity. Brett's doll. Hey, thank you for being 34. Toffee Mocha in the house. Hey, boo. How you doing? How you is? Nisi Rose, the beautiful and gorgeous Nisi Rose, let me correct myself, is here like number 37. Okay, this is our Ghanaian bombshell that is currently in Canada. Who else we got up in here? Jenny Patterson is number 38. I love it. I love it. I do. Random act the kindness mold next door neighbor front yard. I know that's right. You better get your exercise and do your random act of kindness at the same time. Girl, that was cardio. You got your steps in and you help somebody. That's what I'm talking about. We don't play around here. We don't play around here. That all the way from Birmingham, UK. Thank you for being like number 43. Cherry Scott is number 42. Cool Gamer is always cool. Always in the building. All right. Glad you made it. Glad you made it. Tandra for real is number 46. We got Cloud9 with number 48. How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah. Hey, I missed you. It has been a long time. What you been up to? Just working. It's so good to see you. Barbara Parker's in the house. You watch all the replays. I love it. Make sure y'all hit the like button, please, because that's how you help me. Let me say this before we get into this gossip. It is super, super important that y'all hit the like button. Let me explain something to you. That is one of the reasons why I left the news alone. Hey, he he, L E L. Good afternoon. Happy Thursday. That's one of the reasons I left the news alone. And I know a lot of y'all come in and you're like, you don't do the Florida Negro news no more. You don't get into the news. I don't because these people will shadow ban me. They've done it before and I think they're doing it again now. So you got to look into on my end. It don't help me, especially if folks don't hit the like button to try to push me back out in the algorithm because they're going to try to suppress me. The channels that are able to deliver the news and do it unbiased, uncut, you know, and not have any fear, they have people who support them and they really show up for them. That's why they're able to do it. Some of the channels that I love really bring the unbiased, uncut with the proof and they can show it and they don't have to worry about losing ad revenue because they got supporters and they don't have to worry about being shadow banned because their support base will like their videos. They will send up their bubbles and use the engagement button. So it's like when y'all start talking about, oh, you don't do the news no more. I want y'all to keep in mind. I got to beg all stream long for them like buttons. So please, y'all know I love to keep it real. You know, when, when other black platforms, especially in this sector, will not tell you the truth or they lack the the depth, because I don't want to say anything, you know, insensitive, but they lack the depth or understanding of the topics to bring you the truth uncut. I want to do it for you, but y'all got to support me. Y'all got to back me up. Y'all see my niece is telling y'all that's facts. That's facts. There's one channel that I watch, they go live and be, you know, of course they way bigger than me. They'll have sometime nine, 10, 11,000. I, one night, I think I saw 20,000 people in the chat or whatever. So they can talk. They can say what they need to say. They got support. They got support. So y'all got to back me up. Y'all back me up like y'all supposed to. And I'm telling you, I will tell everything. It's a whole lot of stuff I be wanting to tell, but I have to watch my mouth because I'm out here butt naked with no, no Kevlar. And if y'all leave me unprotected, I can't just throw myself in front of, in front of bullets. Like I'm not doing it. FD Johns, thank you for being 57. Angela Davis, thank you for being number 54. I appreciate it. Couture Bay, I'm telling you, you got to keep it real. 
Because y'all know one thing about Nitra, I'm real black, real honest. And I'm, you know, I like to inform myself and I love to inform others, but I can't tell you what I want to tell you a lot of times because I don't have no support. Mac, thank you for being number 55. We love you, boo. I'm glad you made it. All right. Okay, Barbara Parker. You say your husband said the same thing. Something's not right about that. So you own to something. Child, it's some more stuff that went on. I want to say something, but I don't want to get shadow banned again because I don't have a backup. You know what I mean? I can't say what I want to say. No point in me hurting myself. And you know, our people, we love to say, oh, so-and-so not keeping it real. If y'all don't support people, they can't keep it real for you. Even somebody like me that don't know how to be fake, we got to suppress ourselves and we got to, you know, stick to TV shows and telling jokes because that's the only safe way to make a coin. It's the only safe way. Because when we start telling the truth, we don't have the support. And I'm going to tell you something else. The people that's haters, they're loud. People that hate you are dedicated. They will come to your video and report you every day. Ask me how I know, even when you ain't doing nothing. But the people that say they support you, they're not consistent. They're not going to show up every day and like a video. So, y'all, you know, that ain't just for me. That's why I'm always telling you all, I don't care who the black content creator is. I don't care if they're not your favorite person. If you click on their video, click that like button. Give them support because this, this platform is extremely biased. Okay? So show support, show love so we can keep, you know, bringing y'all the real. X, thank you for being 61. I appreciate it. Prognosis. Hey, gorgeous. Thank you for being number 62. I appreciate you. You and Tracy Lashley, y'all both hit, hit it at the same time. Thank you so much. Is Tish, you give me two likes because I keep it real. That's what I'm talking about. Support the real. Support us. Like, we got you especially me y'all know i be wanting to tell everything i know all the time dana brown thank you for being number 67. okay yeah i'm tired of hearing about it because at the end of the day you ain't they, ain't they ain't told me nothing it's just a bunch of noise and i don't like errant noise when there's some real stuff going on I don't, i'm not a fan i'm not a fan talk to me about what's happening don't come talking to me about no bull crap Because I'm intelligent enough to, you know, the things that there are, that there's actually evidence to, that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the stuff that's got evidence, not what somebody say because somebody don't like something and this one said this and that. I don't care. I don't care. But I'm going to tell y'all this real quick and I'm going to get into um, what went on with Wendy and those two um, Albion beasts. Y'all know we had talked about, um, okay, give me a code for both because I don't want to be shadow banned again. And I'm, I want to tell y'all what I done found out without putting myself in the weasel suit. What's a, um, what's a, um, a euphemism or a code we can use for both? Because child, it's the most stuff on that. It's the most stuff on it. It ain't went away. Max say facts. All noise, no substance. Where's the evidence and all that? They don't want no evidence. And then, Mac, you missed it. We was in here looking at the evidence of what happened. Leah say tug. Mm, Vet say coats. Ashley say, say barco. What barco mean? What's barco? Yacht. Yachty. I like yachty. Okay, little yachty. That's what we're going to call it. Couture Bay, Couture, Couture Bay done coined the phrase. Okay, she say, yacht, I got you, got it. What's up, Dana Cutler, Miss Steelers Nation? All right. <laughs> My sister on the phone going to send me a picture of Cartman saying, awesome, this fool say Theodore, like Theodore the tugboat. I like Lil Yachty. What's up, Dana Cutler? Okay, the Navy. The Navy. Wonder Bread, all that. We're going to stick with Lil Yachty. So let me tell y'all, oh, that's boats in Spanish. Okay, so listen, let me tell y'all about Lil Yachty, okay? So y'all know we had seen the video of Lil Yachty, right? We Remember, remember we watched it in here. That's what got me in trouble this last time because I be always wanting to tell y'all what's going on, okay? So remember we seen the video 
or where the light went out, the light came back on, sharp turn toward the thing, right? Light go back out, boom, shakalaka. Mm-hmm. Well, y'all know that um, it's supposed to be the electronic recording devices. You know the ones y'all call the little black box? Mm-hmm. Child, why the little black box missing? I say, wait, what? The little black box is missing. It took them two days to go get the little black box. And I think what I heard is they just went and interviewed the crew on the on little yachty. Um, it was either yesterday or today. But they had done already went out there and said, oh, it was an accident. It wasn't them people. You know, we can't. We ain't going to say the T-E-R-R-O-R. We ain't going to say that mm -mm, them people. They done said, oh, it wasn't them people. It was an accident. How the hell you know? You ain't even interviewed nobody on the boat. To the day, I want to say that I, I, I want to believe they said it was the day. The um the body that do the investigate is the NTSB, I think is what they call. And they say Lil Yachty had um some toxic, um ha some hazardous waste stuff on Lil Yachty in the front, and they said that it got in the water. A bunch of it got in the water. And I'm gonna leave it at that. I ain't gonna go too much further, but y'all, but stuff is going on. Something is going on, but we're gonna talk about Wendy Child. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna mention nothing else about black boxes and little yachty and um dirty soup in the water, nothing. I ain't I ain't saying nothing. You, you ain't heard it. I, I ain't the one to gossip. You ain't heard it from me. Yolanda say Teddy and Tamara scream desperate dogs who was hungry for Dr. Wendy's attention instead of coming for her. Both should have went to Pet Smart to get food to satisfy their desperation. Oh, sweet Lord. My argument is, thank you for being number 73. You ain't late, boo. You ain't late. Child, among other things, let me tell you. I, I wasn't supposed to say this, but they said that um, 764 tons of dirty soup mix got in the water, and this was class nine hazardous materials mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but you ain't heard it from me okay i ain't gonna say nothing else you know other than them 762 tons of dirty soup mix in the water and we seen what happened on the video ain't nobody crazy but anyway you know they say i'm crazy it could be could be but look ds thank you for being number 75 so listen, these heifers got this podcast. Now, I ain't never listened to it. I done heard about them. Um, boy, Bianca laughing at me. Talking about something. I wasn't supposed to say this. That's how I feel. I wasn't supposed to say this. But, you know, I knew about it, so I had to say something. Y'all know I can't be quiet. Yeah, condolences to them. Straight up. J Town and Blue Moon Chocolate Factory podcast. Good evening, good evening, good evening to you. Okay, Max, say brace yourself for little fishes watching up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they ain't heard it from us, Mac. They ain't heard it from us. We ain't saying nothing. Mm -mm. We ain't saying nothing over him. We ain't saying nothing on this porch, uh, Master. We gonna keep telling jokes and talking about TV. We ain't said nothing about nothing y'all did at all. We're going to tell jokes and talk about TVs. Yes, a boss. Mm-hmm. Yes, a boss. So, look. So, I ain't never listened to their podcast at all. Because why would I? Like, why would I? This is me. Why would I listen to them? So, apparently, they from them shows over there in California. So, I had to do a little research because I'm like, I don't know these hookers. Do I even want to know these hookers? Okay. So, anyway... What they tell me that the Teddy Mellencamp girl, she got fired because she was, they say she was boring as hell. I don't know. She looked boring. But um, then they say the other girl had got fired, but now she got her job back, the Tamara Judge girl. So let me see if I can get this audio to play where y'all can hear what they said. And we're going to talk about Dr. Wendy with a PhD level roast. Like you, let me say for the record, I like Wendy okay now. I didn't start off liking her, but I like her now. However, she better not never, and I mean ever, 
come with no sedity, dignified, slow roast like that for me. Because this, this had to be one of the most dignified, slow roast I ever witnessed. And it stuck. The only people talking about over oh, there wasn't nothing is the people that, that wanted to pretend to be dense. Because that, that was that was an old nasty slow roast. So let me play this here. If and I can. I need her to be paused. Yeah. I, I I can't help it. I'm really trying to get on board. Or just gone. Like by paused, I mean bye. 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 Nice knowing you. I'll see you later. Uh, what's going to happen all. with Wendy? I need her to be paused. Okay. So she's talking about, yeah, I need her to be paused. Like, go, like, see you later. And I'm sitting there like, girl. Are you sure this what you want to go with? You know, hey, ba hey, B Sting, thank you for being number 77. I was trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure it out. What's going on? Hey, D Serratinas. Ashley, what you say now? Say Teddy Mellencamp is a former big girl who thinks she's still big. I mean, you know that happens. You know what I'm saying? When you had a certain image for a while, your body could change, but mentally you might still be there. But that ain't got nothing to do with what she just did. Um, sitting her pale, um, recessive tail up there looking like she looking, talking about she want this sister gone. She want her fat. For what exactly? Trash. So child Dr. Wendy posted inboxes. Made me clutch my pearls. Made me clutch them. Let me put my pearls on so I can clutch them. Where are my pearls? Because this is a pearl clutching moment. If y'all got pearls, grab them. This is the time. I don't care who you are, wherever you are in the world right now. I want you to reach into your favorite jewelry box. Into your favorite. I want you to grab your pearls. And I want you to put them on so that you can clutch them. This was PhD level, Sadiddy Slow Roast. 101. I ain't never, and y'all know my mouth is bad, but this was tough. Y'all, this was tough. Hey, Lady Blue. Thank you so much for being like number 81. Magdalene is in the house. Okay. Max say, Teddy, boring than a blind bat. Oh, wow. She got nerve coming for the doctor. Yes, she do. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yes. So I got my pearls on, honey, because I need to clutch. You said your Tiffany necklace, it, it will it do? It'll do just fine. So my pearls on, allow me to clutch them, okay? Mm -hmm. Allow me to clutch my pearls. Dr. Wendy then decides to say, got it, at Teddy, Teddy Miller Camp. Like, she didn't sub, she added that heifer. I'm like, Wendy, you from Ocala? Because, you know, we usually don't help us do stuff like this. She added her. Dana, you got your pearls? Good. Good. And Leah says she clutching her necklaces. Okay. So, listen. Posted the inbox after she added the girl and said, you just wanted my attention. Hashtag, hi, Karen, with a brown hand waving. I'm so dead. So, Wendy posts the inbox. The first one's from October 18th of 2022 this was where she mentioned her in the story and that was like the end of 2022 so then march 1st of 2023 she inboxed her again y'all dr wendy hope you're well your reunion performance should definitely be taught in housewives 101 laughing face emoji would you be able to come on two t's in a pod with me and tomorrow next tuesday March 7th, we love to chat with you. <laughs> Dust. She then messaged her again on November 3rd. Okay, she tried it again. I, I'm, I'm, I heard this was like around the time of RavoCon, something like that. Messaged her again on November 3rd at 10.56 in the morning. Girl, you barely done washed your tail, brushed your teeth, and combed that fur on your head you call hell. Gonna message her and say, just bumped into your husband walking down the hall. Come on, on the part today. We have a suite. We podcasting at the Four Seasons. Wendy paid her dust. So it's looking like, it's looking like 
my sister say, say, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, get your pearls. It looked like to me, this is what Wendy do when she feel like people ain't worth her time. When did we see this again, you asked? When did we see this before? Well, I'm glad y'all asked that. We saw this before when uh, the necromancer had her husband, cousin, Lebe. Remember, she was inboxing Wendy asking her about information about her doctor and telling her, and telling her I'm gonna use your name anyway. Like I'm a lying use your name, you know, since you didn't refer me or you ain't talk up for me to get an appointment, I'm gonna use your name anyway. And then remember she messaged Wendy again cause they wanted to use her name to get that meerkat on the show. And Wendy paid her dust. So this is something Wendy does. If she feel like you are not, you don't warrant a response, she won't give you one. She don't say nothing rude. Sister just don't say nothing. So I'm sitting there like, so wait a minute. Wait a doggone minute. Yes, Yolanda ate and left not a crumb on the plate. The heifer washed it and put it in the dish rack is what she did. Because she really didn't even have to say much. She she literally read that later with her own words. Yolanda say, Dr. Wendy ate left no crumbs. Unseasoned chicken needed to be cooked. And did. And did. Debbie say, Teddy is the rob. Only difference is she got fired and Garcelle calls her a gnat. Oh, that's heavy. Not a gnat, honey. Angela say, yep, when Nick Bone was trying to reach out. Exactly. Exactly. So listen, that was it. She roasted this girl with her own words. I've never done that to anybody. Don't nobody do that to me. Don't do that to me. Listen, do not do that to me. But what was funny what I noticed, I'm actually glad that I didn't talk about this yesterday when I wanted to. When it first came to my mind, I'm glad I didn't. And I'm going to tell y'all why I'm glad I didn't. Because it gave me time to see people's reaction. It gave me time to see people's reaction. And you, y'all want to know what I saw? I saw people trying to make this more about her calling those things Karens than about what that Karen was actually doing. To the extent that she making it racial and it's crazy when I hear that coming from black people. Like, are you stupid? Are you stupid? And I mean that from the depths of my black little heart. Are you stupid? First of all, this is typical Karen behavior. This is what they have always been to us. This is how we have always been treated in this country. We want to use you. We feel entitled to use you. If you don't let me use you, here come the expletives, the microaggressions, the macroaggressions. Here come us trying to pull strings, trying to use our privilege to cause you harm. This is absolutely caring behavior. What I thought was masterful was the fact that Dr. Wendy called it out without even going into any histrionics, without writing a thesis paper, without any of that. She gave it to her nice and smooth and easy. But it was just so interesting to take note of who was defending those animals for their typical behavior. Because what else can you call it? I'm just wondering, what else can you call it? I mean, you know, after we got our plantations and didn't work for free, it was real funny. You know, now we're lazy. We're not lazy. We just ain't working for free. So this is typical. Like, this is this is classic. This is Legacy, legacy Karen behavior. The hell? Yolanda say, I would have sent both Teddy and Tamara body wash gift sets and says, you're welcome. Yolanda, Yolanda, please don't ever roast me like that. Please. Um, Debbie Garcia say, she wants to get on the show and don't go after Candace because she will cry like she always do. You think the Teddy girl want to go on Potomac? I don't know. Tell me what you mean. Tell me what you mean, Deb. I'm trying to catch it. Vets say absolutely typical Karen behavior. Yes. But did y'all notice how many people tried to make excuses for them? Tried to gaslight black women like, oh, we don't know why y'all are supporting her. Why the hell you think? Because we're watching in real time these people do to her exactly what they do to the rest of us. Because we have no allies. So why are we why why wouldn't we support her? Why wouldn't we acknowledge when something is absolutely racially coded 
and the microaggressions are absolutely fueled by entitlement based on racism. Like, why would we not? Why would we not? Like, literally, these people were, I watched yesterday how many people were talking about this. And there were quite a few people who literally were trying to gaslight black women into thinking, how dare you point out our overt and covert racism? Like, why would you say that? There were, and there were black people, black males in particular, who were echoing these anti-black woman sentiments and, and anti-black sentiment. And it was just so typical. And I said, mm, mm, mm. David said, Candace will make a cry. She's been trying to get on any housewives. Oh, that might be what it is then. Yeah, there's a lot of Wendy haters, but y'all got to pay attention. I keep telling y'all, a lot of the hate that y'all see for Dr. Wendy, it's not even personal. She represents what they hate about us. That girl represents what they hate about us. What they hate about us is our strong personalities, our ability to be confident and accomplished. They hate the fact that black women in this country have been showing out consistently, consistently. They hate that. And so for her to be her or Candace or any black woman who exudes those qualities, it's not just about her. The hate they have for that lady is their hate and aggression that they have toward black women. And they've transferred all that on that one black woman. Because see, Candace, Candace is not like the biggest threat. She represents that to a certain degree. But because she'll break down and back down and cry and she does childish things from time to time, they can actually make themselves feel better. By using her flaws, they basically use Candace's flaws to make themselves feel better about what she represents. But when you look at a Wendy and it ain't no crying and she ain't being childish and silly and they can't, when they can't find nothing wrong with you, black woman, they're going to say you're mean, you're a bully. When you're dignified and you're not trashy, you're boring. This is what they do. This is what they do. It's a lot of Wendy haters because it's a lot of people that truly hate black women. Mm -hmm. Max say the usual suspects. Clock it. Clock it. Fren Frenchy 91. Hey, aren't you lovely? Welcome, welcome. So I saw black content creators trying to criticize Wendy for saying Karen as well. Wasn't that trash? I was like, oh, this is some trash. These are some trash takes on this situation. Say so she went, she went after Vicky and still couldn't get on OC. Ooh. That's what she be doing. Girl. I thought I heard her daddy was John Meg was John Cougar Mellencamp. You ain't got no money. Why are you doing this? It was mostly clear people. Oh, yes. I saw. I always see a lot of clear hate for Wendy on Twitter and on the socials. But YouTube shocked me yesterday, honey. Oh, just a smidge. Not by much. Because I expect anti-black woman sentiment. Because, you know, we ain't got no allies. Not really. Not, not as a group. There may be individual people who show love to us, but there's not one group of people that black women can point to and say, these people are our allies. We don't have those. Hey, Kenya 330, thank you for being number 88. Bianca say pause for the calls and hit that button. Hey, nephew, thank you for being like number 90. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Child Frenchie, don't you make me put that stream yard down so you can come on up here and let him use you. Let the Lord use you, baby. She say black gay males, who only dislike the black women who are not black American, i.e. Haitian and Nigerian. Ooh, wait, we got somebody that's that xenophobic. Oh, but you know what? It's a few of them. It's a few of them. And you know what I find interesting is that they know who they can get away with doing that too. Because I haven't heard, and, and y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. The demographic that you just mentioned, I've not heard them go full xenophobe, stereotype, slur, insult on the housewives of Miami and, and, and they from down there in uh, Cuba. I haven't heard the xenophobic rhetoric, the slurs, the stereotype insult. Like I ain't heard none of that about those ladies from Cuba. And shout out to Cuba because you know the Castros, we love, we love them in Florida. We love y'all. 
We love y'all. Okay. Dana Cutler said they hate black excellence with a passion. And they absolutely hate it when it's in the black feminine. They hate it in the black feminine. And I'm just like, child, I don't know what y'all thought this was. You can't bully or push us or gaslight us into not pointing out what it is. That would be why we're the most educated demographic. We don't fold that easy. A lot of us have been fooled by some things, but we don't necessarily fold easy. That, that would also be one of the reasons why y'all hate us so much. We don't fold easy. Hey, Miss Gardner, thank you for being number 91. And since we don't fold so easy, you know, we're bullies. They call us the witch with a bee. They call us all kind of unpleasant, nasty names. They say all kind of ugly things. And when it's not that, they'll out and out say that you look like a man. They try to take away your, your femininity. They attack your femininity by assigning you masculine traits when there are clear beasts with fur on their head who look exactly like Jake from State Farm and nobody wants to call that out. Yeah, they said, I heard that that was that girl's daddy. Now, why is she trying that hard to be on a TV show? John done ran out of money. What's going on? She can't sing like a daddy. Debbie Garcia said, Tamara is a garden tool. Well, Debbie, you better say it. Her daughter don't want nothing to do with her. Lord. Lady Blue said, John is her daddy. See there? I knew it. I knew I heard that. Frenchies say they hate black women that don't fit the black ghetto stereotype. I love to see my intelligent girls. I do too. I do too. It makes me happy. It makes me happy because unless you are actively degrading yourself or downplaying yourself or presenting yourself in a disgraceful fashion, somehow they take it as a threat to them and the way they see the world and possibly even the way they see themselves. Hey, Auntie Eva. David say, that is the only way she got on Beverly Hills show because of her daddy, but they said, no, you ain't worth it. Ooh. Ooh. Say the clear and the colorist folks have melanated derangement syndrome. Well, you better serve it up now. That's a new one on me. I ain't never heard it, but it sounds right. It sounds good. Sounds good. He, he, L, E, L say there are, there are a select few gay black males on Twitter that I've noticed who have terrible takes on this show. They be just as bad as the clear viewers. Real loud with it, too. Real loud with it, too. So it's like, and I don't want to focus on the gay aspect, but I will say this. I think that were they straight black males and they said the same thing, black women would clock it and catch it quicker. But I think because they do maybe present with more feminine energy, we don't always catch it. Not we. I catch everything. Me do. But I know a lot of my sisters don't always catch it because we naturally want to embrace and love, especially when somebody has that feminine energy. We naturally will gravitate toward it and we could get to Kiki and hey, girl. And, and I realize that this person is really anti you. OK, so you got to be able to catch it. And you can't just assume that because someone is giving you feminine energy that they are an ally, because that's not always true. Miriam said all facts. OK. I wasn't ready. Child Peanut at the gym. Peanut went to the gym with um one of my bonus children with Lil Ron. They at the gym, child. They trying to get fined for the Megan Thee Stallion concert. Mm -hmm. They going to see Megan Pete. You wouldn't catch me in there. Megan in shape too good. Megan just put on stuff, show all her shape and stuff and call everybody fat at the same time. And she don't say nothing, but I feel like when she just pop out like that, then she calling out us fat. That's how I feel. You know, she cute. I like her, but I just, you know, she need to explain that to me. Hey, Monica Jones, you at work listening. Thank you for hitting the button. Thank you for being number 94. Rochelle Hardy. Hey there. Yeah, she smoothly dog walked that hooker. I mean, it was it was it was a it was a smooth little stroll. That was a smooth little stroll. Tia Bala, hey sis, say many clear heifers are intimidated by the mere presence of black women who don't bow down to them, right, or don't diminish themselves in some way. Absolutely, 
Magaline, thank you. Thank you. That makes me feel good. It does. Say these males envy us melanated successful women. A lot of them do. A lot of them do. Mm-hmm. Say my best friend is gay, but I don't tolerate gay disrespect because you still a man. Yeah, you still a man at the end of the day. You got to watch that. <laughs> you got to watch that. You can't say everything to me. Lady Blue say Teddy was kicked off Housewives twice. If that don't say snooze fest, yes, Lord. So that happened. And I said, well, you know what? I'm on your side. I'm on your side, housewives, on this one. Sounded like she needs to go. And the fact that basically I can't use Wendy, I couldn't be phony and get her to pay me some attention. I couldn't get her to agree to come on this sad little podcast. But guess who went? Guess who was dumb enough to take their tail over there? What y'all call that girl? Nick Bone? Nick Bone took her stupid self over there talking about Robert is good TV. Ain't nobody in the history of never called Robert Dixon good television. She's never been good television. There's nothing good about her on television. She took her silly self over there. She's so happy somebody called her for an interview, child. She over there talking about Robert is good TV. Lord Ashley say the reject club. That's what it's giving. Ain't no way. Wild horses couldn't have drugged me on that podcast. The hounds of hell couldn't have chased it, couldn't have chased me onto that podcast. The Grim Reaper couldn't have spooked me onto that podcast, but that child, but here, here go this meerkat sliding over there, talking about Robert is good TV, making herself look most stupid by the day. Big dummy. Big dummy. But you know, I wasn't surprised. I was not surprised. She got cataracts and she think Rob is good TV. She got something. Robin, she's always been boring. Yolanda say, poor necrophilia. So desperate for Mayo acceptance. Child, she'll take it any way she can get it. Duchess Natalie say, it's us too. There's a couple of women YouTubers. Yes, there are women who are very anti-black women. A lot of them have internalized self-hate and they will take it out on you. Thank you for saying it, Duchess Natalie. She said, there's a couple of women YouTubers I've had to unsubscribe from their channels. The hatred of Candace and Wendy has been unbearable. They even tried to blame both ladies for the fight. Any, anything for that, for that acceptance. And that, to me, when you're a black woman and you participate in such behavior, not a biohazard. Was she out there on, on, the, on the little yachty too? But back to what I was saying. When you participate in that level of self-hatred, you know, that internalized self-hatred and you blast it out there for the world to see, I think you're pandering to the lowest class of people. You're pandering to people who hate you without taking into account when you finish pandering to the, to the people who hate you they're still going to hate you. It's almost like if you don't like me and you say, Nitra, your booty too big, your, your, your nose too flat, and you got them big old titties, and you say it to me enough, and so now I'm going to run around and say it about myself. My butt too big, I got a flat nose, and I got big old titties. If I start repeating the insults to myself, that's still not going to make the person who initially insult me start liking me. You're not going to start liking me if I join you in insulting me. So it's like, it's, it's, it's sad. So we talk about it. Right. And I think that we get frustrated because it is frustrating to watch and it's insulting to watch, but it's also like a very sad and defeated place to be operating from. Debbie said, this is why I listen to you and those you recommend because you yeah, truth is truth. Amen. Amen. The truth do not care who tell it. Ian say, as lying necker. <laughs> Why she ain't say all that to Nene when she called him starless? Because <laughs> she know better. She know better. Give me shelter. Where you been? Um, give me shelter. Say Bravo wanted Teddy because her dad was there and Meg Ryan was dating Meg Ryan at the time. 
and they thought there was a chance she'd appear on the show. Basically, the same reason they kept Kyle Richards in, for the Hiltons. Oh. See, I ain't know that. I ain't know that. Okay, my girl done got her crown back. Hey, boo. So listen. Y'all, the teasers for the reunion. Can we talk about it? The teasers for the reunion are brutal. 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 There's some things going on in this reunion. I think in one of them, y'all think I can get away with letting y'all hear some audio? Because I'm not showing it. But if y'all hear the audio, y'all think I can get away with it? I hope I can get away with it. Can I get away with it? Because I want y'all to hear some stuff. Mm. Her name. <laughs> you want Chris to jail? Because <laughs> I don't know what to say. So first of all, I've seen three. Three so far. Um, Tiffany J said, yes, please. I haven't watched it yet. Okay. So y'all listen, y'all know who voices who, and you know, we're going to crack the code after we listen, but some of this stuff y'all just got to hear. Okay. Because I can't make this up and you know, I, I take detailed notes and I can always tell you what happened, but it's something different when we experience it together. Mm -mm -mm. Right, Monica Jones, you're right. Candace was very silly, silly squirrel. She really thought that. Mm -hmm. But she turned in her silly squirrel hat, honey. She turned it in fast, too, as soon as they came for her for her pet um, critter. So listen, here you go, here you go, here you go. From Alhambra said, Ashley, I was shocked by your admission that instead of swallowing, you wait for your man to fall asleep and then yeah. spit it out. Yeah. That is horrible. How long are you holding it in there? Well, Andy, if you've given it to him good, he's probably going to fall asleep with a minute. So you just hold it for a minute. Really? You can like well, then put it in your hand. Yeah, you might as well just swallow it. You might as well just yeah. swallow it for sure. No. Put it in your hand. I mean, just just out. Has anyone else <laughs> taken Robin's swallowing advice? Has it changed any relationship? You have. Me up there waving really? my hand with, with her mind self. He's a radio personality. Okay. <laughs> you better get his title correct. Okay? For a record. Okay. Kiki from New Brunswick said, Karen, why did you have to pause for so long when asked how many sexual partners you've had? Well, I had to count the wet dreams because I asked if it matter. And then Wendy said to me, well, Karen, you can't have wet dreams. So anyway, I count my wet dreams. Yes, Andy. In other words, you can't keep track of how many people you've had sex with in the past five no, years. That would be one. Okay. okay. Next. That would be you. I will say the times that you all start talking about sex. Did y'all hear that? Did y'all hear the way Karen, because it was gross, all that dirty talking. I'm like, this is what Andy wants them to do, to be smutty. That's why he got them lawsuits now, okay? But um, did y'all hear the way Karen Hugo, how the grand dame chewed Robert, I mean chewed Robert and spit Robert out on the ground. On the ground, on the pavement, on the pavement. She's talking about, so you don't know how many people you've had sex with in the last five years. Karen said, no, that would be one. If y'all had seen my face, when Karen threw that in there and she slid it so smooth, that would be one. Let me tell y'all something. You got to go watch the teaser because it was the look on 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 Robert's face when Karen popped up. I was like, check your eye, check your eye, check your tooth. Like that was a tooth chipper. I say, whoa, Karen, Jesus. I'm not. I don't want to play that again. They talk too much feels. I can't do the feels. I can't do the feels. Listen. The way Karen slid it, like she poured oil on the ground and just slip and slid right into that goddamn girl. Ooh. Say Rodney said, 
Karen ate Robin up so much at the Bravo Con, Robin cried. Ooh. Karen is hell. Karen is hell. Y'all got to watch them people from Virginia. And I don't care if some of y'all from Virginia is in here. If you in here, God bless you, but y'all is savage. Okay, Lady Blue say Ashley's uncouth. And so is Giselle talking about put something in her hand. Like that, I don't even want to get into that conversation. I feel as though I've never skipped my baths. So I don't I don't think I qualify for that conversation. Like I'm just not filthy enough to talk, talk about something like that. Like absolutely not. Um but in any event, you hear birds? Yeah, they're birds right outside my window. And they're loud. They are loud. My argument is, say, Robin set herself up for that one and did. And did. And I mean, Karen slid that thing to her so hot, she was waiting to be able to say, well, this. so basically, you don't know how many. You played yourself is what you did. You played the piss out yourself, knowing that you over there with a ho 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 Merry Christmas calling it your husband. Uh-huh. Set herself up for the fall. For the fall. Like, why? The, okay, let me ask y'all this. Because I can't be the only one that feels this way. Say, Karen's a smooth operator. She smoothly dog walked Rottweiler Dixon and served her kibbles and bits. Whew. Robin walked into it with Karen. She do it all the time. So, listen. Let me ask y'all something, right? Some of the clasps on these necklaces are so tricky, but I got it. So listen, Robin act like she don't like Karen, like she got such a problem with Karen, but it's like she's always going out of her way to try to have it with Karen. Y'all notice that? Like she constantly goes out of her way to try to have a situation with Karen and it makes me wonder like what are you doing like I wonder is y'all help me understand this Robert acts like she's hoping one day out of all these years she's gonna get a gotcha with Karen like you're not gonna have a gotcha moment with Karen it's never gonna happen for you Robert it's never happening like why does she keep trying even when Karen do slight work like call her raggedy like with your little raggedy so-and-so. I say, oh my God, even that. I'm like, Karen really treat her like raggedy and she just she she doesn't spare her at all. And so for me, I don't understand why she keeps trying it. I'm so lost as to why on earth you would continue to try, and this lady continues to chew you up. So apparently, y'all, that was not, I repeat, not the only supremely embarrassing moment for y'all friend robert it wasn't it got worse it got worse y'all so they started having a conversation they started having a conversation up there about Juan and his hotivities yes Juan and his hotivities and robin she embarrassed herself yet again and dr wendy Lord, she put the nail in this girl's coffin this time, y'all. She did. She put she put the nail indeed in her coffin. Say so she like Big Reese trying to go after Karen to stay on that show. I mean, but Robin has been doing this for years and it never works. Lord, Ash to say she doing it because boys will be boys. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. I'm so weak. Now boys will be boys. Yo. Barbara say that was na that was so nasty. Juan doesn't know how many partners. And she's over there swap. Oh. And apparently she thought it was being it was being glorifying herself on TV. Right. I just caught that. Oh. Yeah, Karen, Karen chewed her up and spit her out, honey. Listen, ladies, it's getting tough over here. It's getting tough. Yes, boys will be boys is what she said. <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. Okay. Mm, Y'all listen to this one. We got another one. 
Mac, you laughing loud. Them people supermarket, they gon' they gonna call the people to come get you. They're gonna think something wrong with you. Monica said, because Karen bust her marriage out in the first episode and could never get back at her, but she's still trying hard and fail every time. Foiled again, Bullwinkle. Wow. My argument is, say, she can't throw them kind of jabs wild with one. She literally the punchline. And is. I like the way you put that. Yeah, I'm going to need her to quit throwing jabs, crosses, uppercuts, body blows. Don't throw anything. Um, Lady Blue says, remember when Karen told Robert she was the, not the dumbest, the dizziest B at the table. Robin should have stayed quiet after that. Should have. So listen, I got another one y'all got to listen to now because we doing a one and done. Y'all ain't finna get me in trouble because I don't, a, I, I, I can't afford them to take away my ad revenue. So y'all got to listen one time, one time. Okay, we finna do it one time. Just to be clear, you still stand by this fact that Juan never cheated on you with Canada Girl, Coach Canada Marie, Girl. or anyone else since you two had officially gotten back together. I can't say anything for certain as no one in this world can say anything for certain about what other people do. Okay. But based on what Juan shared with me about the girl in Canada and the stuff that I kind of heard after the fact, I have many reasons to believe what he's telling me. Yeah. I know that there were a lot of doubts within the group about his story at the start of the season. Who believes Juan's story? No, but Andy, I don't think no. it's for us. None of no. us believe but it. But Robin but believes it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. And it's our job okay. and her friends to support, to support her. her. Okay. Can I ask one little thing? Sure. It, when he said, like, Bree's like a beautiful woman, th did that bother you at all? No, because the point was, if he had been at the laundromat, with someone who was not beautiful, it wouldn't have been an issue. I got it. Do you feel like he was supportive of you throughout filming? Yes, he showed up, he answered questions. He's not showing up tonight. That's oh, fine. He yeah. does not have a basketball game. No, oh, he doesn't. Oh. He declined to be here. Okay. Oh, Andy. That was shady. Well, so that, does, that doesn't well, mean that he doesn't support me. Why is he not here, Rob? He doesn't know that you're going to be under fire not, tonight no. because of his actions. The no, least he can do as your husband no. is to stand behind you and say, baby, you don't have to take all the bullets. I can take some too. Oh, I don't, I don't, I'm fine with <laughs> So y'all heard that, right? <laughs> Take my breath away. <laughs> she yeah, she said she got many reasons to believe. <laughs> to believe his story, Lord. Hey, Queen, how you doing, girl? Listen, Andy dry dragged her. Dry dragged us. We seeing more and more reasons why you might really actually be fine. We heard no official, official word. People getting excited. We don't know if it's real or not. But I'm going to say, if she did get fired, we see why. Lady T, thank you for being 113. Hey, Diva 2. Debbie say, Uncle Ray has never disrespected Karen on screen. Not ever. Not on your life. Not happening. My argument is, says, as Karen said, a proud man is with his woman. Hello. Mm-hmm. Well, I felt like I think that I think that Giselle was doing that so that Robin could clear it up because people was talking about him calling that girl beautiful in front of her and the look on her face when he did it because she could say what she want to say about it didn't bother her girl we saw you when he said it and your face said something other than what you're saying right now okay that's what y'all done talked about after the fact because at that time you were very much so bothered you were very much so bothered you were okay so um that was a lot and karen tried to give us some grace it was like of course we don't believe it but it's not for us to believe it's for robert to believe and of course me is sitting there like we just have to support her why the hell y'all gotta support her being a fool you i ain't got to support that i don't care if i do like you i ain't supporting that he he said karen went in and the triple team robin i was crying 
and it was looking for the excuse, baby. And it, and it did act like he had that one locked and loaded and waiting in the chamber. Talking about, and they asked, Do you feel like he been supported? Oh, yes, he been supported. So, can we talk about that lie? Can we talk about that lie? Miss Weedy Pooh, thank you for being 117. So, she say she think he been supported. Now, I wouldn't call it a lie aside for the reason why I'm finna tell y'all that I'm gonna call that a lie proudly and loudly. Okay, let me get comfortable. Cover my legs up. My hormones are messing with my thermostat. One minute I'm hot, next minute I'm chilly. So Monica say yes, they can. They can just. He doesn't like her. He tolerate her, and he need a check. He lives. He leaves her alone every reunion, even if they're even if he's there. Right? Couldn't take the heat. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. So listen. Robert does not think that Juan was supportive. And I'm going to say that I know she doesn't think that. I'm going to say that. Normally, when somebody tells me they think something, I can't call that a lie. Unless it's just, you know, clear empirical evidence that that's not, you didn't demonstrate that that's what you thought. You get, am I making sense? Like, if you can tell me, Mitra, I think the sky is green. Right? But if I see you do things to indicate and demonstrate otherwise, then I got to say that even with you saying you think something, you're lying. So let's talk about what Robert demonstrated during the course of this season. Okay. Um, Brown style say Mr. Koken through major shade, pull a little tink tink. Rob going out said Juan really couldn't show up to help keep her check right. Wasn't going to do it because he don't care nothing about her. Don't care nothing about humiliating her. Nope. Nothing at all. Um, Debbie say Uncle Ray came when they talked about his taxes. Even the Grim Reaper went with the butt grab. Yes. Yes. You say horror story roommate situation. Yeah. He, he definitely um, set her up. Definitely set her up. And um, Couture Bay says I think he has Stockholm syndrome because she's Robin has Stockholm syndrome because she loving the abuse. I, you know what? To a certain degree, and I think that I think more to the point, she has she's grown accustomed to it, and I think that she's willing to take abusive language and behaviors because at least then she still has contact. It's like a kid who shows out. And they don't care if they get negative attention or positive attention. They just want your attention. So I think that she wants Juan's attention. He did show up. The last one he showed up to was the one where he made the comment about the threesome and Karen. That was the last one he been back. So, you know, not since then, though. Not since then. Um, he, he, Ellie, L said she think the girl got embarrassed. Mint kink. You know, it, it's, it's lid for every pot, I guess. But listen, I'm going to tell you why she demonstrated something different during the season, okay? She she would call him when they on trips. He cuts her out. Talk to her bad. Cuss her out. This season, the last time she called him while they were on a trip, what did he do? He went off on her, immediately went off on her, had his camera off, would not explain why his camera was off, and then proceeded to tell her, you make my skin crawl. The very next trip, they in the Dominican Republic on the island of Hispaniola. And when everybody else was calling their husbands, she called Miss Gladys. Y'all say what you want to say. That was very telling. She did not think he was supportive. She knew for a fact that he was not going to be supportive. He wasn't even going to play the role while he knew this girl was in front of the camera. So she knew he wasn't supportive. She knew she could not call him. She knew she could not count on him. He agreed to give her the bare minimum. I'll film about three scenes with you. I'll show up to the pickleball thing where you dress like Aeon Flux with the flat booty. I will show up at this place that you're gonna lease for for a month, like for monthly subscription skincare, and tell you I could rent it for you. 
In other words, you put the money up and it, I, it'll just be mine. And then walked off the minute she tried to have a conversation about her good friend with them with the rings of Saturn around her neck. And he showed up for that massage thing and she talking about spending time and he up there pretending to be asleep. So he literally gave her the bare minimum. And I want to think like two other times. Once when she was in the kitchen trying to talk about the relationship stuff and he was like, I don't care. Slapping the counter. And then one other time, I think when they did the cooking thing with Gordon and Mia and he wasn't digging it in, he got he got a little testy with Mia. So he ain't been supportive and she know it there. And she demonstrated. Right. He 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 with another woman and she know it. And, and what's worse is she knows she can't do nothing about it. So she's willing to accept whatever she can get just to have proximity, just so she can make the world believe that somehow he care about her. And baby, he, he don't. OK, you're going to send her prayers and crutches so she can stand up. Yes, send them to her. They might be able to bill it to her insurance child. Send it on to her. Send it on to her. Give me shelter. Say Aeon Flux is a deep cut. Let me find out you are blurred and am and am. Mm -hmm. Have been for a long time, honey. Long time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Wait, scream yard be getting away from me, y'all. I be trying to keep up with stuff. Lady Blue says Juan is done with Rob. He's still mad about her losing the money. I and I understand that. I do. But the last straw for me, y'all, was him telling her, "You make my skin crawl." I something about that girl, y'all. That made my skin crawl. That made the skin on the back of my spine prickle. How could you? And you know them cameras there. If you talk to her like a dog in private, that's bad enough. But to do that in public, like you just, I felt like he intentionally set out to humiliate her. You know what it gave? It gave, I told you to stop calling me on these stupid trips. That's what it gave. Every time she called him, it gave that. It gave okay, you want to call? I done told you to stop calling me while you out there with them people. I'm going to embarrass you. That's what it gave. Nisi said, yeah, that man is not in love with her enough to support her in any way. He won't. He won't. I feel like if she trip and, and, and twist her ankle, he might not even support her to help her limp back to the car. I don't trust him. Um, Andrew Mack say, Juan's attitude toward Robert reminds me of Mark Daly towards Skinya. No love is there. It's, this is worse. This is much worse. I'm going to tell you why. We watched Mark Daly basically clock Kenya for lying that whole season. Every time she lied or did something nasty, he clocked her. This man, Robert ain't got, Robert literally just be kissing his behind. She don't be calling him lying and doing all that. Like she tell lies, you know, because she's a liar, but she don't be doing all that. Like she don't be doing nothing overtly nasty with him. Like she really be walking on eggshells. OK, and he still will just talk to her like a dog, yell at her, holler at her, cuss her at. And right. He don't want to have to pay no child support. That too. That too. But I don't know if she ever going to wake up and smell the coffee, the cocoa, the espresso, the cappuccino, somebody. Oh, because this man is dangerous, in my opinion. He doesn't like you. And the level of aggression that he will give over a telephone line, you're not going to tell me you don't have that same level of aggression at the house. You're not. Not that I'm going to believe you. Not that I'm going to believe you. I'm not going to believe that. I'm not. Because mm -mm, it don't ring true. So when you break it down like that, now I feel bad, but it's the cancer in me. I'm just saying, like, it's just reality. I got to deal with the real. Like, this is what Robert has shown us. This is what she's demonstrated. DT, hey, Bookie. All right. Good Friday in New Zealand. You Y'all already in Friday? Boy, the world be doing their thing, boy. We got to catch up. Barbara say, I don't care how much I love a person. If you said that to me, I couldn't recover from that. We couldn't move on from that. We could not. We could not. Um, Nacho Twins mama say Mark was a chin checker. Juan is indifferent. No bueno. Yeah, and the thing with Mark Daly and his nose ring, did he have to check her every time she told a lie? No. 
He didn't. I don't. I never felt like he said anything too bad until that that final scene when he was like, "Oh, I can't stand. I can't stand it." Like the way he was, you know, it's something about a man trying to humiliate a woman in public. If y'all ain't noticed, that kind of sticks in my craw. I don't like it. I don't. When you could easily just leave that girl alone, you you don't have to try to humiliate her. When Mark did that, that's what turned me off to him. Because the rest of the season, he literally was just checking her every time she lied. Like it was, it was one scene in particular where he and Kenya were in a car, and I remember it so clear. She got in the car talking about an encounter she had with Nene, and she out and out lied. She claimed Nene said something she did not say to her, and Mark simply said, "Did she say that to you, or is that is that uh, or is that how you felt about something she said?" It was almost like he knew what happened. I don't even know how he knew she was lying. So that's all we really saw from him. What Juan does to this girl is some kind of humiliation ritual. Like, I don't even understand what I'm looking at. I do not understand what I'm looking at. It's just really, it's bad. Right, Diva Tude is giving he meant to embarrass her. And it felt like I've told you to stop calling me. So if you're going to keep calling me, I'm going to embarrass you. That's what it looked like sorry yeah it was it was a lot and and i felt like she finally received the the beating in the head enough like okay now i get it if i call him he just gonna embarrass me so let me this time let me just call mama and meanwhile call her mama like it was funny but at the same time it was also sad like whoa baby you so defeated you're so defeated and what it what must it be like to be dealing with a man and you're trying to convince the world that he cares for you, but you know he don't. And he talks to you bad, so much so that when everybody calling their man, you know his camera's up, so let you, I'm just calling my mama. Yeah, Wanda moved on and just still living in the house. He's just, he, he there for them boys, like he said in season two. He's there for them boys. Ian say, I believe he has put his hands on her before. I believe it, because she definitely she definitely walks on eggshells i'm not saying he has i've never heard her make that accusation but something about it the way he pulled off with her arm in that in that car window that time i'm like you know I, that one kind of made me rev back a little bit and look like wait a minute what am i seeing here you know he might not be somebody that you know often not you know out and out beat you but something about it felt like he wouldn't be above shoving you or he wouldn't be above slamming the door in your face. Or he might not be above, like, you know, some aggressive behavior. You know what I'm saying? Something about it just, mm -mm. Max said, I still think Mark and Juan would be BFFs if they pass cross. Well, Juan is apparently very friendly with everybody except her. Everybody like Juan. Everybody get along with Juan. All the guys get along with Juan. Everybody cool with Juan. He's nice to everybody but her. Yeah, I, I don't know. It's something about a man doing that that bothers me. Okay? But the fact that Andy was like, well, he ain't playing basketball. I said, whoa. And you know what that said to me? Monica says she think he has too. He could have. He could have. But we don't know because we're not in them people's house. But he, he seems to exhibit at times toward her an aggressive response i'm not saying he's aggressive because i know the the weight of those words but he seems to have an aggressive response you know with his his tone his volume his body language it doesn't seem like the body language of somebody who loves and adores and cherishes you it just doesn't feel that way to me it doesn't um but let's talk about what andy said and then it's another one that we got to hear we're gonna listen to that one too but with what andy said hold on <coughs> oh bless me sorry but with what um with what andy said it was, it was loaded. It was loaded, okay? 
it was loaded. The reason why I think it was loaded, it was, well, he didn't show up for you here tonight. It was almost like this was your last chance to bring him here. Um, but it was also something else in there. When he said he's not playing basketball. Thank you, Angela. When he said he's not playing basketball, um, to me, it hit different because thank you, Andrew Mack. It felt like he was saying y'all were using it as an excuse all the other times that he was playing basketball. He was coaching. He was doing whatever. And um, it was like he it was almost like he was saying you weren't doing nothing but lying and we know you were lying. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how that felt. Well, we know he ain't playing basketball because we know he ain't got no job. You know what I mean? It was that was loaded. That was loaded. And say that's what I had just said too. He definitely gives me that vibe. Him and Mark Daly and Ralph too. They all humiliate their women to the point it could give that they, they like to slam their women up against the wall. Yeah, it's like I will humiliate you. I will walk the dog with you, and it's a lot. Okay. Um. Thank you, Nisi Rose. Marquis said, I'm glad Robin is leaving the show. Yes. And it's because, listen, I don't like her. Like, everything she stands for pisses me off. She's still a woman, technically, we think, right? So, with that being said, I'm just not here for a man intentionally humiliating a woman. It makes me uncomfortable. Something about it just does not sit right with me, Okay. And um, DT, you know what? This is my first support of the whole day. Thank you, DT. Okay. DT says, Robin looks like a clownfish that swam up the ocean and landed into a bonfire to be fried and eaten up by the roadrunner. Thank you, DT. It's, it's always so specific. It's always oddly specific what they look like. And I appreciate you because... That's my first and only supporter today. And I love you. I do. I love you. I do. So we got one more to listen to. Okay. We got one more to listen to. So y'all tune in real good because y'all know I'm not trying to lose my monetization or my ad revenue on this video because that is my first and only support of the day. Okay. So I'm going to need my little commercials. Okay. So y'all got to listen. Ain't going to be no replay. Ain't going to be no run it back. I need y'all to hear what they're saying, and then we're going to talk about it, okay? Oh, so look, let's get into this thing. What was said? Okay, here you go. I have to say, I love this show. But as a fan, it was somewhat frustrating to watch this season because the show, you know, is about finding common ground and it's about taking ownership of actions as they affect others are any of you willing to say now that you feel prepared to do that tonight andy i believe in these women um each and every one of them i know they went through a lot but i do believe that these girls can pull through and i expect nothing less tonight okay i'm looking forward as well to Owning what That's I need Candace. to own and moving forward. Anyone else? Count me in. Good. Yeah, yeah count me in too. Great. <laughs> what about you, Giselle, Robin? Yeah, I'm looking forward to the ownership. Okay, yeah. Robin. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. See, there roll call, Andy. Okay, good. Neck is fine. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, you ain't cool, girl. You just irrelevant. You wasn't even part of the conversation. Shout out to Yolanda Franklin. Thank you so much for the super sticker, sis. So listen, and it's talking about moving forward, resolving stuff or whatever. Everybody's like, you know, Candace is like, oh, she's ready to own whatever she need to own and move forward. And Wendy says, count me in. Ashley and, and Mia was like, yeah, me too. I'm in. Hey, Nina Ross. Hey, M. Guerrero. And Karen had to turn and look at Mutt and Jeff and say, what about you, Giselle and Robin? 
Giselle's stupid, but talking about I'm here for the ownership. She want other people to pretend they did something to her. Ain't nobody did nothing to you. Okay, but respond to your nonsense, to your toxic behavior, right? Right. Just ownership. She wants somebody to own that they did something to her. Ain't nobody did nothing to you, but call it like it is. Hey, U.S. Army Brad. So, and then Robert, they're like, what about you? Sure. And yet another reason why you ain't, you possibly don't have a job. Because I'm not going to say you don't, because I don't know. We know that's what we heard, but it ain't been confirmed. So we'll see, I guess, whenever they let us know. DT say, Auntie Karen is killing me with a what about you, Giselle and Robert. <laughs> What's so funny is they set themselves up. They set themselves up by sitting there being quiet, looking dumb, while everybody's like, yeah, you know I'm in. So that left room for Karen to say, what about you too? And the fact that she had to call out those two people, because bear in mind, necrosis didn't say nothing either, but ain't nobody studying you. The only person you came there trying to have an issue with was somebody who paid you dust. I mean, the dust, the dust of, of, of the haunted mansion. She paid you thick layers of dust, heavy layers of dust. So, you know, nobody mentioned her. It was straight. What about you, Giselle and Robin? Because y'all in the center of all of it. Y'all are the ones who try to orchestrate icing out of other cast members. And when it didn't work out, y'all became miserable and sitting around and questioning friends of the show. Did she tell you anything? Oh, I know what else I wanted to tell y'all. Why are we talking about these hookers? Y'all remember. Y'all remember. During the season, right? Remember they was down there in the Dominican Republic on the island of Hispaniola. And they rigged it up so that Kiana would be over there with Team Yellow and Necrosis, right? Remember that? When they was over there skeet shooting and, and shooting at the little clay ducks or whatever, clay birds, whatever they call them things, you know. And Robert, Robert, Roberto, okay? Roberto Clemente. Roberto going to ask Kiana, y'all remember this? Well, did Winnie tell you anything about us that she did? And for Kiana to say, no, she didn't. She ain't never tell me nothing negative about y'all. You know, it's some shade, so it's obvious y'all don't get along, but she ain't never said nothing to me. But then, then, Necrosis outed her over there with the two on the two wet dogs podcast. Mm-hmm. Necrosis outed her on the Two Wet Dogs podcast when she was over there. Let me see if I can find it. I should be able to find it. Somebody should have it because I heard it. I think it was on X. She outed Robert. The same thing that Robert was asking Kiana did. Um, did um. Child, DT, thank you so much for the super chat. Say this, oh, oh, Lord, you know I'm not going to call them that. Say we looking forward to most seasons of, oh, oh, Jesus, thank you for the super chat, DT. But listen, so I heard it, so I believe it's on X. It has to be on X. Let me find what I can find over here, over here. Um, la 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 la. It's hard to find clips of that girl because she's so uninteresting. She's so uninteresting. I 
I is going to find it. But she outed Robert. The same thing. There it go. I told y'all I'll find it. Mm-hmm. Listen. Okay. The problem I have is that she took no accountability. After it happened, like, yeah, terrible things happened. That ain't what I want. I want the one where she talked. Oh, she talk, they talking about Karen. I don't want to hear that. I want to hear the one where she outed Robert. Because I don't care what they think about Karen. Karen don't care what they think about Karen. Where is the clip that I want? Give me the clip that I want. Where is it? But yeah, so basically what she said was, while I'm looking for it, because I may find it, you know, it's it's kind of hard sometimes, especially when people are uninteresting to find these things. Um, but, but she said, when she was saying that Robert was good for TV and she's an excellent housewife, I'm like, girl, she barely a housewife. She said that she gave her the ropes and gave her the rundown on everybody on the show. And so I'm sitting here like, so you accusing Wendy of stuff. You trying to question to see if Wendy did what you do to people. That's what was going on. I said, wow. So to find out in real time that what you, everything, basically y'all accusing this lady of is what y'all are. This was a lot. This was a lot for me. This was a lot for me. It's, it's a shame. This girl is so uninteresting that nobody has, oh Lord, the clips of her are so few and far in between. Y'all, I might not be able to find it. I think she's just that uninteresting. This is a shame. This is a shame. I swear for M&M's. This is pitiful. Well, y'all can go listen to the whole podcast and you'll be able to hear what she said about Robert. And um, <clears throat> she thinking that Robert was good for the show and Robert was good TV and Robert is a great housewife. And that Robert um gave her the rundown and told her how things go because she said i didn't know how things went so robert showed her how all how everything works and how things go and how the how, how it really goes being on the show and gave her the rundown on everybody so i said wow like literally wow mm -mm. It's a shame, y'all. It just ain't. It, it's not findable. It's not even findable to be that to be that unmemorable. Like I know, you know, Nat King Cole saying unforgettable, but she's forgettable. That's what you are. Mm -hmm. We don't know you're there, not hit near nor far. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I don't know how this gonna go. Mm -mm. I don't know how that's going to go, child. But yeah, yeah, that's all I got for it. I ain't got nothing else. I ain't got nothing else at all for this mess. Um, Y'all got some opinions. Let me drop this stream yard because I want to know what y'all think about all this stuff. I've been running my mouth, but you know what? That's sad because I really can legit run my mouth for this long. And I don't even need to come up for air. That's so sad. I talk too much. Why y'all ain't tell me? Okay. Mac, what you say? Say, no thanks. I wouldn't listen to that podcast even if I wanted to torture myself. Yeah, there's got to be better forms of torture. There has to be. Has to be. Tracy Lashley, you done slid in, girl. You done slid in. But yes, yeah, so I'm just glad. I'm actually looking forward to them being off on Sunday so I can enjoy Easter without any aggravation. 
I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to the fact that this reunion is about to start because then that's going to be the beginning of the end for this season because this has been an extremely long season. Like this season has been almost unbearable. Like this was like Chinese water torture level season. This was a lot. For one, they were in Austin for 27 and a half weeks. Like forever, it, it just didn't stop. You say you love to hear talking. Apparently, because y'all won't, won't nobody come talk to me. Every now and then, somebody comes talk to me. But other than that, y'all make me read. So if ain't nobody coming, then I'm going to be going. Okay. Say so it was way too long. It was. It really was. But listen, so don't nobody want to talk. I'm going to go ahead on and go and give y'all y'all evening back. But listen, if the gossip jumps off, you know, I don't mind coming back. Um, but I will keep my eye on things and see what else develops in the realm of gossip. And if anything else happened with Lil Yachty, I'm going to tell y'all about that too. But I know not to say too much because, you know, mm, they be watching me. They be watching me. So you know what time it is. This is my time to ask you, if you did not hit the like button on the way in, please make sure you hit the like button on the way out. Hit your notification bell. Make sure you click all so you will know every time we go live on this good channel. Subscribe if you've not subscribed because you know we are happy to have you here. You are welcome, okay? So if you want to join channel membership and put that crown by your name, all right, there's a join button beneath the video and a membership link in the description box of this video also in the description box we got the link for our royal family merchandise store and i see some people been snatching up some hoodies and stuff okay because it's still a little chilly up north i know y'all mm, it's been happening so if you want to get your royal family merch you want to get your crown here we got everything you need ladies gentlemen babies all that stuff in our merchandise store the link is there we also got the link for our amazon storefront so we can all shop together Okay, and my Amazon wish list in case you want to send me a snack, some pens, or new tablets for me to write notes on for these shows. Okay, so listen, I'm going to go ahead and go. Y'all enjoy the rest of your night. All right, and um, hope everybody's getting ready for Easter because I am. I already got my Easter dress, so I'm really excited. But I don't have a hat though. I feel like I have a hat. What is the hat I've worn before? I don't know. But anyway, I'm going to go. And like I always say, in case no one else has said it to you, remember. God loves you. I love you. And there's really nothing you can do about it. Talk to you later. Bye.